you know, for me, cars are the next frontier in society. You know, it's going to change the way we live, what we do, how we do things. And for me, this is uh, an opportunity to change the world. And this is something that I've been interested in and doing as a, you know, as a researcher for a long time. Working at NASA, we always think about, uh, you know, where we can go and, and, you know, nothing is too bold. And I think to apply this to society and, and you know, create a difference in, in the way we transport ourselves is just incredibly exciting. And that's why I decided to, uh, to come and join and, and make this uh, a reality. My expertise is not only in building AI systems, but also building human-centered AI systems. Looking at how people really do things in practice, how they work, and bring that together with humans and systems and make it a seamless interaction. And I think that is where my expertise is and what I can bring to, uh, you know, to autonomous driving, not only from the AI perspective, perspective but also from the human perspective. So human-centered cars, to me, are, are what, you know, what is important and what drives my research. You know, you can, you can look at it narrowly. Um, you know, of course, the elderly, uh, you know, the people with handicaps. Um, and, and, and those are, you know, the immediate benefits that you think about. But if you look at it broadly, you know, um, Society will change, um, not only from the perspective of the individual driving autonomously and being able to be more, if, you know, uh, can do stuff in the car that he or she was not able to do before and was just doing that at home, but we can look at it from a societal perspective in the terms of designing cities. Um, you know, transportation as a whole will change. Um, and these are, I think, um, you know, aspects that we are not immediately thinking about about how it will change where we live, how we live, and how we will interact as a society. Um, I think city planning and, you know, and, and transportations inside cities are things that will be uh, changing. Um, and so who will benefit is, is, you know, is everybody, I think. And, and, and we, will, we will have in the future more and more people be able to use cars. You know, um, People that now cannot afford cars will be able to afford cars because we can share cars more easily. And so a community can have a couple of cars to help people be able to be transported where today um, those individuals will not have the ability to have a car. Like I said, we, we want to take a holistic approach in this center. And that means that, yes, the, the technology for allowing the car to drive by itself, uh, the artificial intelligence technology, is definitely what we will research here. On the other hand, we will also research about what services can we provide for people inside and outside of the car. Um, how can an electric vehicle be used and a smart vehicle when it comes home and you can connect to your house? Um, we will also um, look at the impact in society the laws and you know think about um, you know what how can we change and what needs to be changed and then I think an important aspect is privacy and security as we have connected cars you know um, we will have a lot of private data uh, a lot of information that is available how do we make sure that that is secure and people can feel you know that there's their privacy is still in some sense you know remains there um, that is a, you know, that's not only in, in autonomous cars, it's, it's right now a, a very important in the whole World Wide Web and the Internet, and it becomes more and more uh, a topic uh, of research when we think about connecting our cars to each other and to everywhere. Well, Silicon Valley is uh, where innovation happens, and it's a very exciting place, um, and it has kind of a can-do um, attitude here. And so to be, to be part of that 
you know, and setting up collaborations with new entrepreneurs and new ways of businesses um, to to help and shape that together, I think, is a very important um, aspect. The other thing is that in Silicon Valley we have a lot of uh, you know good universities and research labs that we can collaborate with, and um, we hope to be an open center and have collaborations with. Um, you know, with the, the Silicon Valley attitude and with the Silicon Valley spirit. Yeah, I, I think Nissan, um, like I said before, is, has shown to take um, innovation and mass produce it. The electric vehicle and, and the, the now intelligent systems that are coming out in the new Infinities um, you know, that already have some autonomous aspects in it, I think, and, and being mass produced is, is where I think Nissan is leading. And so um, Nissan is well positioned, I think, to, to take the next step and be a leader in autonomous driving and connected vehicles. Um, and that's very exciting. One thing I think I know for sure is that the autonomous vehicle is coming. Um, you know, people have different predictions whether it's going to be five years and ten years. Um, I think it's going to be sooner than we think. Um, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, we will start with having autonomous cars driving on the highways, but soon we will have um, autonomous trucks and transportation systems. Um, and as I said before, I think that once we start in the direction of having autonomous vehicles be part of our highway complex, um, cities and people will change. Um, and people will demand it more and more because, you know, um, who doesn't want to be able to, uh, to be writing, reading his email in the car or, you know, watching uh, the news show that he was watching when he came from home? And so I think it will be... Uh, <clears throat> Soon, we'll, and, and especially here in Silicon Valley, the, you know, the early adopters will, will try out things and we will see a jump being made very quickly.